Grand Prairie ISD says it is a choice education leader that offers students art choices that can improve critical thinking, cultural understanding, and their own art history. Fine Arts Executive Director Amy Francis is here with students Sydney Ross, Bella Page, and Mia Riviera to spotlight their award-winning fine arts program. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Hi. I am so glad that all of you are here. I want to talk to you first and talk about the fact that Grand Prairie really does value the arts. How is that, how does that translate? Tell me what you do. Well, absolutely. Grand Prairie knows that arts education is critical to developing self-esteem, cultural understanding, awareness of diversity. Um, and to that end, we know that it can, continues to translate into academic success mm -hmm. for our students. And so we offer fine arts beginning in pre-K and going all the way through high school. And I'd like to add that we've been awarded a Texas Arts Education District of Distinction, as well as being recognized as the best community for music education for the seventh year in a row. That is so encouraging to hear because mm -hmm. when there are budget cuts, unfortunately, often the fine arts are definitely on the chopping block. So I want to ask you, what types of different fine arts programs do you have to offer? Certainly. Our elementary schools all offer music and art taught by Texas certified teachers beginning in pre-K. And that's great because students have fun learning and get to explore art history, music theater, mm -hmm. all while discovering their own artistry and creativity. We also have some specialized programs such as dance, introduction to strings, and theater, and these are all at our fine arts academies, which are open enrollment campuses, which means you can be inside or outside the district to apply to attend. That is so cool. So you don't have to live within the specific district. You Correct. can you can apply from other districts and still attend and take advantage of these wonderful finance arts programs. That's Absolutely. wonderful. We have had an artist here all morning long. She is so talented. And this is just kind of a sample of the different types of finance mm -hmm. programs that you offer. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Well, um, is this for you, Sydney? Uh, yes. Sydney? I'm sorry, I want to introduce Sydney. Oh. So she's been painting, but also I wanted to find out what you have experienced as far as the different types of classes that have been offered. Um, well, all of our traditional middle schools and high schools, we offer choir, orchestra, theater, as well as visual arts, and some unique programs like Ballet Folklorico and Mariachi. So all of our students initially get to perform and compete and learn from great teachers. All right, I understand that you get a you got to head out, yes, right? Because you're going to be doing a performance, so you yes. can go on and get, go and get ready for something very special that's going to be coming up. So, all right. So, Bella, you're a fine art high school student. What does it mean to you to be a part of these these programs? And do you think that you're going to carry some of the skills that you learned in high school into your ultimate career? Yes, absolutely. Yay. Well, GPISD um, offers a fine arts academy that is a sixth grade through twelfth grade campus, mm -hmm. which means that students can stay at one school from sixth grade all the way until they graduate. Mm -hmm. um, students also get um, more unique arts um, electives, such as sculptural welding, for instance. Is that something you're interested in? Yes, yes, I take very interest in that. Awesome. All right, so <laughs> Mia, what program are you interested in, and how do you think that these different types of programs have been so successful? Yes, so I'm a vocal music student, but we just had 10 students in GPISD make the All-State Honors, and that's for band, that's for choir, and that's for mariachi. And mm -hmm. we also um, compete internationally and nationally, and um, We've also had some GP graduates um, perform with Rihanna at the mm -hmm. Super Bowl. That's pretty. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Were you just glued to the screen? <laughs> well, did you get to wear the white, cool jumpsuit thingies? Oh, not me. Just some of the graduates. That they is got to do that. so awesome. That mm -hmm. is so okay. Uh, so, Bella, you mentioned mariachi. You say mariachi soul as Azteca has had some great success. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, thank you. We are, GPISD is very proud to have the Texas 6A state champions in mariachi. And they also just won the Fort Worth Stock Show competition. Woo, yeah, <laughs> I'm from Fort Worth. Congratulations <laughs> on that. So before, I'm excited that we're gonna have an opportunity to hear them play. So before we hear them play, can you, can you tell us how we can learn more about 
um, GPISD? Of course, we would love to invite everybody out to our 12th annual Grand Prairie Independent School District experience. And that's gonna happen on Saturday, March 4th, from 9 a.m. to noon at Dubisky Career High School. We'll have a multitude of student performances as well as lots of opportunities for family fun mm -hmm. and the chance to speak with campus principals and administrators to find just that right fit that's fantastic. for your students. So families can go to gpisd.org to start exploring our schools and our programs of choice. Awesome, thank you so much. And again, the Grand Prairie ISD is an open enrollment district, which means you don't need to live in Grand Prairie to attend Grand Prairie schools. You can go to gpisd.org for more information. And here's some good news. We have a special treat. Here's Mariachi <laughs> Sol Azteca, Azte Azteca, sorry, and the Mia Invitational Tenor Bass Middle School Choir performing together. You guys, take it away. Conmigo, hoy tengo ganas de ti. 